Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about Marvel Spider-Man 2 once again. Obviously, there's been a bunch of Spider-Man news that has come out over the last week. And we are struggling to cover it all because obviously, you know, we've got a bunch of stuff coming out from Marvel Spider-Man 2 at the same time. So I'm just going to put out a little announcement here. Make sure you are subscribed and make sure you stay up to date with all the videos that we post because we're going to be getting up to date and we're going to be catching up with everything over the next few weeks when the Marvel Spider-Man 2 news does start to slow down. But until then, we've got a lot to cover from this game because obviously it's the hot topic. Everyone wants to know all the details they possibly can. And I have got some more crucial information as to the game's runtime here for you all today. So obviously, as we do know, a couple of weeks ago, it was revealed how big the game would actually be. And it's closing in on 100 gigabytes of storage for the PS5. Well, now we actually do know how much content and the runtime of the game is. Itself. So a website that goes by the name of VG247.com did an interview with Insomniac Games and they asked Insomniac how long the game will actually be. And it turns out they said that the game will actually be a similar length to the first game. And the reason as to this, and I quote, they said that Spider-Man 2 is in the same ballpark as the first game in terms of overall playtime, which was a quote from Ryan Smith, who is the senior game director at Insomniac Games. He also then went on to say, and we really thought about how to make each of the moments a little bit more epic or go a little bit deeper or a little bit more story integrated. Now, for those of you who don't know, the first game, Marvel Spider-Man, was around 17 and a half hours long to complete the main story. So that's from the first mission to the final mission. The whole story, just for your average player, would take around 17 and a half hours in that ballpark, in that range. And the whole game as a whole, including side quests, obviously the collectibles and the unlockables, everything, the whole game would take you around 35 hours to complete. And that is to 100% platinum the game. So it seems like the game will be exactly the same length as it was for Marvel Spider-Man 1. So everything from the missions, the story, everything, all the same beats, it looks like it's going to be following a similar pattern in terms of length. So don't expect the main story to take any longer than 20 hours to complete. Obviously, there might be a few minutes or maybe even an hour or so here and there, give or take, but I wouldn't expect anything more than 20 hours. Now, some people are really disappointed by this, but I think Insomniac gives a really good reason as to why it is the same length and not longer than the first game. And it is the fact that they wanted to make every single moment special. They wanted to make every single moment in this game matter to the overall story. And they've even come out and said that, you know, it's about making a good story. It's about making a good emotional experience. And it's not about just throwing stuff in there to make the game longer. Personally, I was expecting the main story playtime to be around 30 hours. Just because we have two Spider-Men who both share a main character role. As we know, the 17 and a half hours from Marvel Spider-Man 1 was completely dedicated to Peter Parker. And now, Miles and Peter have both got to share. 17 slash 18 hours of story time which means that roughly each character is going to have about nine hours each if they are completely equal to delve into their stories and delve into their characters so that's why i thought this game would be a little longer roughly getting on towards 30 hours of story time but obviously if insomniac are confident that what they've got for the story is all they need and they're not overstuffing it and if what they've got is what really matters then i'm happy and i cannot wait to play this game. As you know, in Insomniac, we trust. And if the game turns out to be one of the best Spider-Man games of all time, if not the best Spider-Man game of all time, then I would not be surprised. I do trust what they're saying. I'll trust the process. And I'm really excited, as I said, for this game. Let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think about this? Are you excited for Marvel Spider-Man 2? Do you wish it was a little bit longer than the first game? Or, or do you not mind? You know, are you okay with it being the same length as the first game? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. Like I said at the start of the video, this is your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And we're going to be catching up with all of the other stuff that has come out about other Spider-Man media in the next week or so. Because Marvel Spider-Man 2 has just been hitting the forefront. We've got stuff from across and beyond the Spider-Verse coming up. We've also got some really, really terrible El Muerto news that we need to cover as well. And I want to give you guys all the information on that. So make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Take care and peace.